Terrible. Oh my God, what a bad guy just doing that. But do I want people who are out of prison to have a, a second chance of life? Yes! Once you pay your debt to society, when you pay your debt, whatever you did, you should get all your rights back. All of them. Every single one of them you should get back. Voting rights. Second Amendment rights. Everything. Once you're done paying your debt, you should get every second chance of life. And you with us, you said it's been 20 years? No, no. My cousin was there 20 years and he did his back to time. Yeah, he did his back to wow. time. He's done. He's done. How much have we taken from him? We've taken 20 years. Whatever he's done, he's paid his debt. Let's move on. That's what I was saying. Let's move on. So that's one important thing we do. The next thing, of course, is expunge records. Right? Give someone a couple years. Again, if they're not going back in within three years, they're probably not going back in. Right? And three years is about the number. That's about it. Three years. Get, and you can work with felons, that's about the, about the time. If they don't go within three years, they're not going back in. Why is that still in the record? It should be. I also want to have an opt out for businesses so they don't have to ask that question. Right? And I want to speak about the value of so people stop asking that question. Right? I don't want to ask that question. I want to give someone a chance. Did I answer your question? And uh, as I mentioned again, this is the bully bullpen. I want to give people a second chance. 100%. I want to give people a second chance. There's one more piece I'll do, and this is, there is a system right now that I want to work on. By the way, um, if we're going to fix prison reform, again, by the way, I'm the only guy talking about real prison reform. If we want to actually have prison reform, we have to add corrections officers into this mix. Right now, we have people who just go, all corrections officers are evil, or all people in jail are evil. Neither of those two are true. There are people in prison right now who are really bad and shouldn't get out ever. And there are people in prison now who should get into society and should have a second chance like anybody else who's not paying. And people probably shouldn't be in prison at all. That I know for sure. But it's hard for me to know which ones are which. Who does know? Corrections officers have a better, must have a much better chance of knowing which one is which. They deal with them every day. We add them plus volunteers, specifically those who are loved ones of inmates or those who've had that same problem before, and together we create separation facilities. Little units called CRUs. These are community uh, reform units. It's similar to what we do in Massachusetts right now, it's called the Humvee Program. The Humvee Program has, this one is, has two COs, Christ officers, and a bunch of volunteers that come together and serve people coming almost like a platoon. It's, it's, it's military-like, but this, this community is actually veterans. And they kind of get people and prepare them to get out. Right, and many of you are, are veterans, you know that when people come back from the military, after the war, there was called SEPs, which is separations, right? A way of getting people out into the civilian world, surviving better. We should have that for our prison population. So they have a chance of getting out, right? They begin to understand what it is, understand how things work. People who made it give them advice, help them on resumes, tell them to get jobs, can become references for them, can tell them where they should move, et cetera, et cetera. Now, how do I know this works? The recidivism rate in Massachusetts in general is about 75%. From this program, less than five. Wow. Massive change. Less than five. We can copy that here in New York with tons of issues, tons of different communities, all types of communities we can do that. But we have to have both CEOs and volunteers. Note what this does. There is no extra cost. Nothing I've told you, any idea, has cost one extra dollar in any way, shape, or form. That's the point. I want, I'm the guy who says for grace and abuse, then I show you how to do it. I'm the guy who says give you better opportunity, and then I show you how. I have a plan. Again, if my plan's off, if you know someone or know, I'm happy, but I have a plan if that's the right direction. Imagine if all of a sudden now you have people who are coming out, right, and they actually have three months to six months of prepping before they come out. So when they step out, they know where to go, how to go, they have a resume set, they have people who know them, they have a community ready to support them. Oh my God, would that change? How do I know? It's already happening in Massachusetts. It's happening already. We can do that. And that includes those who shouldn't be in jail. And here's a problem. Come on, let's end this other piece. There are people in jail who shouldn't be in jail. If you went to jail because you had a plant in your pocket, you shouldn't go to jail. You shouldn't. You say, well, why don't we partner those guys? It's a problem with that. Some of these guys have been in prison 10 years or even more. They weren't violent when they went in, but they're violent now. And that sounds horrible, but they are. It's a fact. I'm telling you stuff that's true and you know the future. They're about it now. They need sex too. We need a separation program even for those who went in 
who were part of who are now that. We want to eat them out. I want them to like that. They should have been arrested in the first place. They should be in jail in the first place. <coughs> but I can't just put them back out. That would be cruel. Throwing someone who went in jail for having marijuana in their pocket when they were 19, and they've been in jail now for 10 years, and putting them back out in the world is cruel. I know it's cruel putting them in the first place. I agree. But two cruels don't make it better. I give them a steps program. They can prep themselves with the best chance of getting out and getting back into society the best chance they can possibly get. Did I answer your questions at least? Yes. Good. Thank you. Okay, now, uh, he, he had one first, and I'm going to get one. Apologies for going backwards, but we touched on immigration and we were talking uh, heavily on education. I wanted to tie the two together uh, in regards to the DREAM Act. Because sure. to me, it's a, it's a concern um, that it's actually a, a foreign registration. Um, I can't possibly fathom why we would uh, invest money based on someone's immigration status as opposed to a poor kid who is busting his ass in school, getting you know 80s and 90s, can't afford college, and we're not putting money towards that, whether, regardless of their immigration status. But is this federal? This is federal. Let's say it's a Cuomo uh, mm -hmm. champion, the Dream Act for New York. Isn't he trying to bring it just, yeah. just locally to the state? That's what he's saying. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. Yes. So he's yeah. saying federal doesn't want to do this. We, we're going to do this here in New York. And uh, I, I, aside from finding out who are the undocumented families, I can't, I can't understand why this would be a major focus. I don't know why this is okay, that. And look, and here's the general rule. Remember, when it, I didn't even think about that because it's so unimportant to the average New Yorker. It's just that important. This is the reason why. Because he's fighting Trump now. That's all he cares about. His majesty does not care about you at all. And when I say that, I'm being very forward. He doesn't care about you at all. Is he even campaigning? Mm -mm. No. Is he asking? Will he even take questions from the press? Mm -mm. No. He doesn't care about you at all. I just said to me earlier, and I'll bring it up again. 30% increase in suicides throughout the country, to include New York State. Farmers upstate who are losing their farms are committing suicide. Corrections officers are committing suicide because of the, of the horrible apathy. Fathers who are getting crushed in our family court system are committing suicide. We got some veterans are committing suicide. And we got overdoses in this state that are embarrassing high. We're losing more people to overdose, which is a form of suicide because they're self injecting it. Uh, but that people are overdosing in this state more than a dying of car accidents. And he, and all on the side, and his answer is, dream act, or go to Puerto Rico, or yell at Trump. He doesn't care at all. Let me be very clear. This isn't about the big rock or whatever. He's a bad man. He's just a bad man who has seen this state fall apart for eight years. A million New Yorkers have left this state in the last eight years. And he talks about the weather. And he talks about the weather. If you're a Democrat, I ask you a very important question. Why in the world would you reward that horrible behavior? He has shown you who he is. He is a bad man. Mm -hmm. Why would you support him? I don't know why. I do it to my brother. Yes, go ahead. Uh, so a quick point about the prisons. Uh, you know, there is a lot of data out there that shows that 75% of people who are right now their case is dismissed. That's so correct. How do we prevent that? One, yes. My main question I want to ask you is, uh, you know, we are, uh, we may have seen the IEC thrown out on the second and uh, there is a, a, a shift, uh, a far shift to the left of both the assembly and the Senate. Yep. How would you as yes. governor work with- uh, Let me cover both of those. You asked some questions. Uh, you know, like, a yep. to overtake both houses. Number one is that, and might have mentioned earlier, we have to give it a cash bill. Cash bail is a horrible idea. It's got to go to cash bail. Cash bail is unfair. You shouldn't go to jail because you're poor. Right? That's the wrong reason for jail. If you are a flight risk, if you are a serious flight risk, like you got friends and family across the border and you left before something, okay, maybe then you can do cash bail in that specific case if you're a flight risk. Maybe. But if not, another idea. How about instead just an ankle bracelet? Ankle bracelets are, we have them already. Put an ankle bracelet on somebody. Right? Ankle bracelets solve so many problems, right? What if you say, an example, what if domestic violence? And someone thinks, oh, this guy's gonna beat his wife. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. I don't know that. 
It's, he's accused at the moment. It could be true and it cannot be true. What do we do? Either we put the guy in jail, and what if he's not guilty? Now he loses his job and he's not guilty. Or we let him out and he goes and meets his wife again. Lose, lose. How about instead we show my ankle brace on him? Done. Very simple. She has another uh, device. If he comes within a thousand feet of her, 911 is called. Done. That actually protects her. Not just letting him out and having, I have a restraining order. Mm -hmm. You know how many dead women have restraining orders? Yeah. I know it sounds harsh, but realize that this is America. A male lover kills his female lover every day in this country. Mm -hmm. Every day in this country. Why don't we actually protect women from actual ankle bracelet on him instead of a restraining order? And literally comes to a thousand feet, 911's called, and he knows that. Done deal. He cuts that bracelet off, he's a fellow now. Off the jail you go. Now all of a sudden things begin to change. That's real answers, and guess what? We already have the ankle bracelets. You don't have to pay extra money for this. There's no extra dollars in this. In fact, we'll save money because we'll put them in jail. And we pay how many thousands of dollars every day to keep somebody in jail? A whole bunch. Look at that. Instead, we just drop a couple bucks on an ankle bracelet. Way cheaper. Way cheaper. Did I answer your first question? Yes. Although your, your example of specific domestic violence is appropriate, yeah. but for people who, who are convicted, who are put into records before there's a judge, before they get a trial, are you suggesting that those people also wear an ankle bracelet? Yes, why not? If they're a flight risk. If they're a flight That's the question. If they're not a flight risk, why are you even having any bail in the first place? Right? If you, and this is how it's supposed to work, if I'm a member of my community, I'm not a flight risk. Right? If I do something wrong, you know, accused of something, but I have a job, and or a business, and or a family, and or friends, and a community, I'm not going to get up and walk away. It doesn't happen. That's not what happens. It doesn't happen. It's just not what happens. I have my life, my family, my friends here. I go back home. If you're afraid of a friend, flight risk, and you might be, but I can whisper. Done deal. That's not the problem. Did I answer your first question? Your second question, take it all the time. How are you going to handle the, uh, the Senate and the Assembly? First off, I'm going to run the Senate in 90 days. If you don't understand how, let me tell you how. The Senate is about 50 50, give or take. It's close. 50 50, right? When I win this thing, you know what's going to happen? Easily, seven or eight. Senator's gonna go, Larry, I've always loved you. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, you know I love you. I've always loved liberty. Oh, libertarians, in my heart, always. <laughs> the second that happens, I get seven libertarians, I become the swing vote, I run the Senate. So I run the Senate in 90 days, so I have the swing vote. Right? Whatever I want, I'll be Republicans and my guys, or Democrats and my guys. I become the Senate. I become the, the swing vote, so I had the Senate. That, that, that. But I don't have the assembly. The assembly is tougher. That's much for the left and a whole lot more. That's, that's harder, but not impossible. And there's some reasons why. Here's what I know. I've helped to fix companies in the past, what I've done in my, in my past life. What do you do to do that? You don't walk in and start telling people what to do. That's TV show stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't walk in and go, you do this, I know everything. That's TV show. In reality, you go in and say, okay, local managers, okay, local leaders, okay, people on the ground, how do we fix this? What can we do? What's happening? How do we make this happen? And you allow the local small managers to be heroes. When you let them be heroes, they begin to support you. I will do the same thing. You notice, I've never said, even in my education days, I've never said, I'm going to fire, I'm going to hire, I'm going to cut taxes. No, I'm constantly pushing down surpluses and pushing down ideas to the local communities. What am I doing? I'm allowing them to be heroes. Right now, this is happening. Right now, everybody, and if you know any politician, any politician mm -hmm. in the state, here's the one common denominator. They are all afraid of his majesty. Yep. Yes. Oh, you know? yeah. Yep. And I can say it out loud because it's true. It's true. They are all afraid of him. Mm -hmm. Democrat or Republican, they're all afraid. He doesn't let them be heroes. They must enforce the king's will. Mm -hmm. That's how he thinks. Again, he's a bad guy. That's how bad guys think. Right? I'm the opposite. Be a hero locally. When, people, when I take over, they are going to think it's going to be a bloodbath. That's all they know. It's not going to be a bloodbath. I need them. I want to ask them to change. I need them. I want them to know that. I will act accordingly. I will run the Senate. I will act accordingly. And some of them will come aboard just for that. But not all. 
Some will. I hope a lot. The second piece is, I've written this up often. Why am I spending so much time enforcing this state? By Thursday, I will have been in every single county in the state. Everyone. Wow. I've crossed every county. Yes. Yes. <laughs>